we're at the gold shack already. And we have one bucket from a friend of mine. Uh, that's supposed to be super heavy wash plant concentrate from Linton. Uh, I believe both those buckets are. Then we have uh, Tim's Island Plain. No, Tim's Beach. So we got two Tim's Beach, we got two Linton, and we got four Cayuse buckets, which we will find right now. And we got Hobie. What's up, Hobie? Well, say hello. Say hello to the camera. And we got one, two, three, four buckets. This is gonna be good, peeps. Woo! And here we go. Preparation for the wash plant. We got our pump. Got our pump in. Jim has the power. Okay, so Plug that in. Well, not yet, because you gotta start pumping. <laughs> yeah, soon. So that's our water catch. Oh, is a gold cube. There you have it, folks. Ready to rock and roll. Gold cube with trauma. Run a little test, make sure everything's good. Always gotta check if you're level. Battery's full, level is level. And here we are, everyone. Fraser Canyon River Ranch. What a beautiful place. This is my partner Tim's place. You can rent the beautiful little cabins up top. They're off-grid cabins, solar powered. Uh, we have full self-service down here so you can do all your work. If you're a computer person, there's Wi-Fi here. Tim's got a yurt that he stays in part-time, not in the winter obviously, but uh, most of the year he's in there. If not, you'll find him in the valley. Uh, beautiful little place here. This is where all the work starts next spring. Renegade Prospectors Gem Tours. We got Gold School. Uh, if you look down river, that's the famous Tim's Island claim, that big, big, massive mound out in the middle down there. That is where we'll be inviting people to come out, teach them how to get gold. You could be a gold miner and you just don't have access to a claim. So you can come down, pay a fee, stay at the cabins, come and mine with us all weekend, keep everything you find. Pretty awesome. This is the gold shack, Tim's gold shack. We'll be working on it, getting shelving, getting it set properly. We have a problem with tailings. Obviously we just kind of just jumped into it, but the water erodes the bank here. So we want to stop that from happening. So we've moved over here. We'll catch most of our gravels that we can uh, toss over the bank and then at least the water will reclaim itself into the ground and uh, grow Tim's nice grass. This is cool. We got four Cayuse candies. Woo! That is where it's at. I'm very excited to get in there. We'll run the Frasers first. See what's up with the Fraser Gold in the Gold Cube. Tell us what's what, Tim. Here we go, we got water. Looking okay in there. Check our water flow. Looks like it's heavy on my side a little bit. But the bottom two are good. Just the first two runs. I don't think that really matters. Looks flat. Looking awesome. And there you have it, people. Candy everywhere. Look at it all. This is a Fraser run. Four buckets of Fraser. You can see it over there too. Holy shit. Bottom level. Same thing. Oh, look at that candy. Mm. The salt for you, Polly. You gotta come out and check this out, man. Come join us at the Fraser River Rick Canyon Ranch. Just had to empty our bin, filling a hole over there with our waste. It's perfect. 
Love this machine. It's coming home with me today. You get to have it for the winter. Fire this beast up. You know I'll be doing a lot of videos. I'll do a review video. Um, once it's at my house and I'm all set up and comfortable with it. I have an idea to keep a wheelbarrow under here so that uh, when I get my waste gravels, they're gonna be walk past in my garden next year. So I will be able to just shut down for a sec, wheelbarrow over, dump it, put it back, keep going. Nice little process. I'll have steps up to it so I'm above. It's really hard feeding it when it's above your chest line. But awesome. All right, there you have it. Plucked off the trommel. First view of the mats. No pieces, all Fraser fine golds, but we have a blue ball and that comes next. So we are ready. Next mat, please. Then. So she's all packed up, ready to go. We got up in the front there, we got our Fraser bucket and we got our Cayuche bucket. Uh, I didn't want to investigate with a pan. I'd rather do some research on the blue bowl today and watch a couple videos and learn how to use it properly. I'm going to set it up, try on the Fraser gold first and uh, master that blue bowl technique. We got a cool, uh, we got a dial, like a power dial so that we can really adjust the power of the water in that blue bowl, get that vortex just right. So bye bye gold shack, this is it for the winter I guess, we're tying her down, I'll be, I'll be back for that, uh, those totes right there for my water supply at home, and I'll come grab the, uh, the brackets and whatnot, but the gold cube is mine, I'm excited, time to get some buckets, see you at my house, woohoo, not even into it yet, and I can see it everywhere. Cayuse candy. Lots. Looking good. I'll classify this down some more. I'll have a better look. There you have it. Cayuse cleanup. Wonderful. That was about an hour, I guess. Four buckets. Not rushing or anything. Just having fun. It was a beautiful day. Enjoying the sun. And we got some candy. Time to fire up the blue bowl and try out the freezer gold. All right, it looks like I'm good to go. I see stuff flying around in there. I'm gonna have to turn it up just a bit, but I gotta get some gold in there and see what happens. The idea is the velocity of that spinning pulls heavy heavies to the outside of the bowl. And then all the light material will head to the cone and goes up and in and down the hole into the bucket. And this is just running on a pump round and round. One use of water. That's kind of cool. I like it. Oh, there you have it. It's working. The gold's down there and the gravels are up there. So cool.